I'm Colleen Elvin, Lieutenant with the Apple Valley Fire Department. Today's training is vehicle extrication. So the scenario here at Drill is that the car is on fire and we, they're talking about what we, we would do to access under the hood, which is the most common place for a car fire. So now some of the firefighters have moved to the trunk and they're going to try to pop that trunk open. One way that we've practiced in the past and find very successful is to remove the lock cylinder. And the trunk is open. All right, firefighters are in the vehicle so they can have the true experience of being a patient when firefighters arrive and have to pop windows. Ideally, a patient would be covered with a tarp or a towel blanket before we break a window because the glass goes everywhere. See, now the firefighters using the spreader made a purchase point inside between the front and the rear doors. Put the spreader inside and just let it go to work. Don't ever put yourself between the, the tool and the door. But if you watch, the tool works very well. Slowly, lots of force. If we have a patient in the front seat of a vehicle, a firefighter will often get in the back seat just to calm that person and remain patient. The style of our newest helmets allows us better access inside of a vehicle. But firefighters are working on opening both the doors on this side of the vehicle in what they're calling a bat wing. Instead of taking the front post, the front door, and then the back door, and then cutting the B post out, they want to try and do all of this in, in one motion, working from the back instead, and then toward the front. They pop the door. Now they're working on the bottom of the B post. This is a drill, practice time, where we can try some new things and then reacquaint ourselves with our tools and try some of the new tools that we don't often get to put our hands on. Step two, bat wing. That wraps up today's training on vehicle extrication. We talked a little bit about patience, of course, stabilizing a vehicle. We've used the, the Centaur rescue tools, Glassmaster, and some of our, our battery-powered tools. Hope you enjoyed it.